using your sword with love instead of vengeance. Yeah. Now, what does that mean and how do you do that? Well, we're going to talk about it. Now, number one is this is not about literally a sword, as you already know. Like, um, unless you want this one. This is $5 a target. Um, <laughs> this is about things to do in your head that nobody can see you doing. Okay. And now that we've worked on it, that you've seen your sword and you can like visualize it, and now we are not going to talk about removing it and dealing with the wound anymore. We're going to look at like how to use it. Okay. Now here are some ways you can, and then obviously you come up with your own ways because you're a brilliant spark of wonderfulness, smarty pants. Number one most powerful thing is you can use it to slice away those negative thought patterns. Remember, we talked about that long list of yours, your negative thoughts of like, you're not worthy, you're ugly, you're fat, you're worthless, blah, 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 blah. When, you ha when they pop up again, because they do, you know, it's not like, oh yeah, now we're cured and we'll never have a negative thought pattern in our life ever again. No, sometimes, you know, you're faced with something and you, those old stuff pops up in your head. Excellent thing to do is in your mind, just visualize that you are a warrior now. You have your sword and you're just like, shoop, whoop, kind of like, you know, you have a machete and you are moving through a jungle and the path that you usually take that's so beautiful and pristine suddenly has a little growth of weeds and you're like, whoop, shoop, shoop, you know, shoop, shoop. This is obviously in your head. You're not walking around with this in your office or your school. <laughs> mm. And another thing to do is to picture it, picture it like held at your side or on your back. Like, how do you feel like most, uh, how do you feel the most like a warrior? You know, are you like, is it strapped across you or you're, are you, you know, how does it feel the most powerful to you? Because it gives you a little a backbone and some inner strength if you visualize it. Now, again, we're going to get to the place where we don't even think about this stuff anymore. These are really great exercises to lead you into uh, the fact that if we're moving on and we're not going to talk about trauma and recovery anymore. Yay! All right. Now, another visualization to do is to hold it. Now, if you're a speaker, if you have to do something in front of other people that completely freaks you out, uh, an exercise is, you know, a lot of speakers will tell you to hold your pen. You know, it... it enables you to focus energy and helps your heart rate calm down if you like are grasping something. That's why a lot of times you'll see speakers like rah, 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 <laughs> holding on to something. If you don't have access to that or like if you have to do a presentation and you don't have anything to hold on, visualize it in your head that you have your sword. You know, you have your sword, you've got it up by your side, you can reach and, you know, touch it whenever you need. Now, all of these are like the wackadoodle silly things to do in your head. It's true, but it works. So think about it. How can you use your sword in your head to take combat and take away all those negative backgrounds, to give you some inner strength, to give you some peace of mind, calm you down? You know, just think about it. Using your sword. Hmm. Fun. Huh. And again, if you want this cool one, I happen to love it. It's my favorite. Target, $5. <laughs>